In this video, you will learn how to write a brand story for your doctor's website using the story brand. My name is Meredith Callagher, and this is the Meredith Callagher Show, where we talk about marketing strategy for busy doctors. We believe hope is not a strategy. Every doctor must put a plan in place for success. No, wait, let's first talk about why. Why do you need a brand story for your website? Especially if you're a doctor. Don't you just need to put up there the type of patients you can treat, and then the services you offer, and then an appointment link, right? Call now for an appointment. Uh, well, not exactly. Nope, it doesn't work that way. The brand story will compel your website visitors, your potential patients, to act quickly and make that appointment faster. That's what we all want from our website, right? In short, the brand story will drive patient appointments on your website. That's easy to understand, right? And listen, you could have pay the fanciest IT company to help you with SEO and they'll do all these things with all these technical words that you might not be familiar with and you will get visits to your website. In fact, they can give you reports that shows you that because of the SEO they put in, in place for your website, the search engine optimization that they put in place for your website, they can show you that traffic's coming. But even if you have SEO and you're wondering if you could get more patient bookings from your website, you can. The answer is yes, you can, especially if you haven't written a brand story and then implemented it on your website. So that's what we're going to go over today, how to write a brand story. And, and really, it's for anybody that doesn't have one. That means people that are getting great search engine results, meaning people look for a pediatrician in your neighborhood and your website comes up first, you guys, you need a brand story too. So when they go to that website, they will immediately book an appointment because you told them this fabulous story or someone that's just starting out and creating the website for the first time. You guys need to develop your brand story too. So what is a brand story? Now don't be confused. This is not the story of your business. We don't need to hear how your practice started or even where you went to med school or why you wanted to become a dentist or a doctor. That's great maybe on your about page, but the brand story is the story of your brand. Wait, what? What does that mean? Your brand story tells your patients the transformation that they will have or experience when they work with you or your practice. That's it, that's your brand story. The patient's transformation from problem to success. All right, you can see that now, right? You can see the difference between a brand story and the story of your business. Perfect. Now, how are we gonna create that? Well, I have exciting news. A man named Donald Miller wrote a book in 2017 called Building Your Story Brand, and it was a Wall Street Journal number one bestseller. It was on the New York Times bestseller list. I carry it around with me almost everywhere because I love it so much. If you read the book, if you have time, but even if you don't, he has a free tool online called storybrandmarketing.com where it's basically a fill in the blank form where you can create your brand story in about 45 minutes and he has little videos with each fill in the blank component to help you along. He made it so easy. With his book, Miller helped thousands of businesses clarify their message by writing and implementing a brand story. Why his book was so popular is because Miller's approach was different, was almost revolutionary. He suggested that most businesses were doing their marketing wrong. He said most businesses were positioning themselves as the hero, but instead to compel consumers to buy or work with us, that businesses should be positioning customers as the hero and the businesses should position themselves as the guide. Mind blown, right? We're not the hero? Even you, Dr. Smarty Pants, <laughs> you should position yourself as the guide of your potential patient. Let them champion their own health. Let your marketing tell them how by working with you or your practice, your brand, they can take control of their own health, be their own hero by using the services and working with this amazing and qualified doctor that you are and your great staff. And in the end, be the champion of their own story with a success. Isn't that awesome? Don't you want to work with that doctor that helps you be the champion of you? Love it, right? 
Well, so did a lot of other business owners who have found great success with Miller's Story Brand Framework. And you know what? I have even better news. You don't even have to read the entire book, even though you should because it's awesome and it's a really easy read. But I know. You guys are super busy. So I think Donald Miller knows that too. So he created a free tool on his website, Marketing a Story Brand. I'll link it below where you can go and you to put in your email, but you can basically fill in the blank and he guides you through creating your brand story in about, I mean, you can do it as fast as you want. I was very diligent and created an amazing brand story for Boo and I, and it took me about 45 minutes. So if you didn't read the book, which I did, so I, I knew what I, he was talking about, but if you didn't, he gives you little videos at each blank to be filled in and tells you how to complete them. It's amazing. So when you create your brand story first, you will define the character, define your ideal customer or patient. Then you will identify his problems, what our hero needs to overcome. Third, you will establish yourself as the guide. You will empathize with the hero. You will demonstrate how you understand his medical problems and could help him. And that's when you can maybe give your credentials. Then you give him the promise. Promise is the process. How will the hero work with you? And this can be as easy as you'll call and make a consultation appointment. You'll come in and we'll figure out what your problem is. Then we'll pick the best protocol for you. That's the hero's journey. You will define in your brand story. Then you will write out explicitly how they get started on that journey, right? What is the call to action to get going? Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe you have appointment software, whatever that is. Then you will define the success that the hero will have once he completes this process or journey of working with you. And we also define the problems that he will avoid by working with you. What would happen if he didn't come in or she didn't come in to see you the best guide in your industry, right? And finally, on Donna Miller's fill in the blank story brand worksheet, that's amazing. He has you uh, think about the total transformation. So you just sort of repeat what the hero looked like at the beginning and then how he was transformed or how he transformed himself by working with your practice. Isn't that awesome? I can't wait to hear your brand stories. So your homework this week is to go create a brand story for your practice. I promise it won't take long. I will link the website below. And I have a prediction that some of you will go devour this book because it's so good. Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. And if you're a podcast listener, he also has a great podcast with the same name. It was so nice to see you this week. I'd love for you to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss an episode that I release every Tuesday on marketing strategy for busy doctors. And listen, be sure to come back next week with your brand story because we're going to talk about how to implement your brand story into your marketing and especially on your website. It's actually super easy, but we'll go through that once you have the script. All right, great. See you next week. Bye.